Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and it's been a while since we have done a hunt on Leighton Lake, so I decided to come back here, as I don't think we've really hunted it much since Rev on Two League Host came out, so there's probably a lot of stuff that we have yet to see on the map, and I figured we would start out with some elk, since they are one of my favorite species on the entire map. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of big ones around this area, so we're gonna have to take down a couple of these level threes, but you know, it's a good start at least regardless, so let's just real quickly get a couple of these down. And I do believe those were the best three, and one more into that guy just to get him down a little bit quicker. Ah, uh, this other zone over here only had a level 2, so I think we're gonna go ahead and leave that guy as he's not really anything too spectacular. And so, I have been very curious recently, uh, what type of content you guys have been enjoying the most from the channel. I've seen quite a few people really enjoying the Way of the Hunter content, as well as still enjoying the, uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild content, and then quite a few of you have also enjoyed the Angler too, so... I'm really curious, which is your favorite of the three games that we've been playing on the channel? Let me know in the comments below, and then I guess we'll kind of go through all of the comments and see which one has the most votes, because a lot of people seem to like each of these games, and I'm really curious which one is the most popular with uh, all of you guys. Well, this is my first time going to this location since the Rev on Tule Coast update, and Though it's it's not a bull, which is unfortunate, there is an albino female Roosevelt elk, which I don't think I've ever killed one before. I know I've killed a piebald one, but I don't think I've ever killed an albino female, so this is actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get a shot into her before she moves away too much, and there we go, getting her down on the first shot. Now this lake has always been pretty decent for elk, and I believe after the update it's even better for them, so I'm hoping that we can find quite a few... Uh, kind of spread throughout this lake. Uh, before we go over to claim her though, I do need to check the opposite side of the lake as this is one of the easiest places to see it from. Although it does not seem like any of the elk over there are all that interesting, so we're probably just going to go claim that albino female and then uh, maybe loop around and see if there's any on the far end that we can't see from this uh, side of the lake. Hopefully there will be, as there is quite a bit of lake that we can't see from over here. Well, that's quite unfortunate. I fast traveled over and she's now floating, so I, I guess we're gonna head over to that tent again and wait. Ah, oh, man, what a start to the day. And she has finally floated over. That took way longer than I was hoping it would, but that is, I believe, our first ever albino female Roosevelt elk. Though, because there is no multi-mount for Roosevelt Elk, I don't think we're going to end up keeping her. Or I guess there is no multi-mount for the female ones. Uh, there is a multi-mount for the male, but unfortunately, no purpose in keeping a female if your lodge is already full. And unfortunately, most of my lodges and my trophy manager are just more than overstocked, so it's not exactly something I'm going to be keeping. Though, we will get a couple screenshots of her real quickly in the harvest screen, just so we can at least uh, remember her if we want to. So even though this is our first elk hunting video since Rev on Tule Coast released a while back, this is actually not the first time that I've been on the map as I did briefly join Leighton before starting this video to find some of the new locations that elk are and, well, we ended up finding probably the coolest elk trophy I've ever come across and I've shot plenty of diamond elk in the past but nothing quite as unique as this one. We had that really uh, wonky big rack elk a while ago. We also had a wonky small rack where one of the antlers was completely hooked in. But this guy was just on a whole new level of uniqueness and just one of the nicest looking elk I've killed. It's almost the exact opposite of the tall rack diamond elk that Kill Clinton ended up getting a couple years ago or like a year, year and a half ago. It was pretty crazy to see it. This is basically the flattest, lowest angled antlers I've ever seen. And well, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at that guy real quickly before we continue on our hunt. I honestly cannot believe what I just spotted. This might be one of the most impressive elk I have ever laid eyes on. This is like the exact opposite of that tall rack elk that uh, Kill Clinton got quite a while ago. This guy is almost like a short rack or I guess a low rack elk. Those antlers are pretty much just in line with its body. That is amazing looking. 
Now, I don't know what guns I have on me. It looks like we do have the 300 Magnum, so we will try to take this guy down with it. That is incredible. I returned to Layton Lakes, and this is what I'm greeted with. This is honestly just amazing. I'm super happy that this is the first diamond that I get after returning to Layton after the most recent update, which honestly at this point has been over a month ago. This guy is just so incredibly unique looking. I can't say I've ever seen a diamond quite as different as him. It looks like there's a good amount of mass as well, and he's incredibly wonky. I think this might be the coolest elk I've ever seen. Let's try to get a shot into him and hope that we don't mess it up. That should be good. Yeah, he's going down. Wow, that is incredible. I've never seen an elk as impressive as this guy, and we've killed a few really wonky level 5 elk in the past, but nothing quite as wild as this guy right here. This is really awesome, so let's try to get this guy real quickly. I don't want the game to crash or anything, so I'm not going to take a picture as there is kind of a bug going on where occasionally the camera will lag and sometimes it will uh, just straight up crash, but that is a wild elk. That is absolutely crazy. Let's take a look at him, and it's a 413 max weight diamond. Wow, that is the craziest elk I have ever killed. I've never seen the antlers go that flat along the body. That is truly, I would say, a one-of-a-kind, once-in-a-lifetime trophy. And it does seem that he is even. He definitely has the uh, same measurements on both sides. That's crazy. This definitely has to be a new Main Lodge edition. That is so, so cool. And so I got to thinking, and I don't actually think this is the first hunt on Leighton Lakes since Rev on Tule Coast was added. I do believe we've been here a couple times since then. However, it was never for elk, so regardless, this is the first elk hunt since the Rev on Tule Coast update. And speaking of updates, I've been thinking, what is going to be the next thing they add into the Hunter Call of the Wild? I've got some ideas on stuff that it could be. Let me know in the comments if you guys want a video talking about stuff that I'd like to see in future updates because there's a lot of stuff that I feel could be the next thing that gets added to the game and there's definitely some things that are more likely than others and I'm curious if you guys want to hear about my opinions on those because I could probably make an entire video just centered around future updates and stuff that I would love to see them do at some point and stuff that I feel is very likely to happen. So let me know if you guys want to see that. You know, finally we found a herd with a decent bull in it. That is a really nice looking level 4 and there's honestly a pretty good level 3 behind it. Though we're definitely going to target the 4 with our first shot. Hopefully we can get both of them. And it definitely seems like we were able to get both of them down so that is amazing. And if we look down the river a little bit more, there's another level 4. That one is not a very high score estimate, honestly. That must just barely be a level 4. I couldn't see that being a very big one. It couldn't be too far off of what this level 3 over here will score. That's an interesting one. I can't say I've ever seen a 4 with a score estimate that low. Well, it looks like they came back before I could get over here, so we've got a chance to take out number 3. Let's just do that real quickly with a quick neck shot. And now we can go and claim all of them. I see one of them laying there next to it, but I don't know where the other one is. Question is, is this the 3 or the 4? This is the 3 that we spine shot. 268 on the score. And then this one that we just took down is a 262. Wow, that one was only a silver. That's kind of crazy. And last but not least, this is the level 4 that we ended up taking down first. Should be the highest scoring of all of them. And it is at 341.50, a very nice looking level 4 elk. This has always been one of those racks that I really liked and I really wish that there was like a diamond equivalent of this rack that was a bit longer on the beams, maybe an extra tine or two and then some extra mass. I think that could be pretty amazing looking. There is another level 4 elk very close to where we shot that one with the 316 upper estimate. Let's get this one down as well. As the more we can get down, the better. We also have some mallards there. You know, it's so cool to see the mallards just chilling on the shoreline after the waterfowl update. Definitely a really cool sight to see. So there is that level 4 that has a 316 max estimate. It only scores 296. This is definitely on the low end of what a level 4 can be. 
Wow, it's actually been a very long time since I've had elk at this lake over here. This is the lake in the top right of the map. And it's not too often that I've had elk here in the recent months. I think before this last update, it had been four or five months since I had seen a single elk up here. So this is really nice. We've actually got elk up in this location once again. And for those of you that are curious where this lake is, it's right here in the very top right of Leighton Lakes. And yeah, I just never saw them here for the last probably five, six, maybe more months. And now it seems like they're back here finally. This should be the level three right here, 263 on the score. And you know, this is about the same weight as that level four that ended up scoring in the 290s. That's kind of interesting. I never really noticed that before that the threes and fours had like such similar weight ranges, but it seems that they really do. And this one right here is that beautiful level four. This actually used to be one of the diamond racks when the true racks elk were first released, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 369, this actually used to be a diamond rack, and then when they went from the old system that was a 1 to 1,000 score uh, universal system, uh, once they changed from that over to the current true score system with scoring a 2.0, this turned into a troll rack, and then after an update or two, they added a few more diamond racks that for some reason weren't showing up previously, and that pushed this guy down here into the level 4 category instead of a level 5. So this rack right here has had a lot of history in the game, to be honest. It's been in a lot of different places, a lot of different score ranges and uh, different levels that it could be on. And, well, now it sits here as one of the larger level 4s. And still one of the nicer looking racks in the game for the Roosevelt Elk. So since we've searched most of our map for elk, I think we will briefly jump into multiplayer and see if we can manage to find a couple servers that are possibly at the elk time. Maybe we can snag ourselves a second diamond of this video or another rare. That would be pretty cool, though I'm not really expecting it as I have not had the best luck hunting elk in multiplayer. In fact, I think that's been some of the, I, I guess, lowest trophy numbers of any species that I've hunted in multiplayer. I just don't find too many good elk whenever I'm uh, server hopping. And yeah, multiplayer was a bust, which uh, I kind of expected it to be with my recent multiplayer luck. So uh, let's uh, jump into the lodge. I honestly don't even know where to put this guy. This was previously our coolest Roosevelt elk diamond, but I think I kind of like this guy better. So I might replace the one in this mount as uh, I do think that it would be a little bit cooler to have the new one. And then we'll just have to find a place to put this guy as well. Well, that certainly is a much cooler looking diamond to have in this mount, I would say. That is really, really cool. You know, I'm happy that we got such an awesome looking elk as you really don't see ones that look like this every day. It's definitely a very uncommon sight to see an elk that flat with the antlers and have it score over 400. It's just so awesome to see, and I'm glad we managed to find one. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below on either of the two topics that I talked about earlier in the video, and I'll try to read through as many of them as I can and reply to the ones that I feel need to be replied to, and I try to reply to as many as I can, though it can be difficult at times to reply to a lot of them since we do get tons of comments on the channel every single day, and... I hope you guys understand that I do look through them all, and at the very minimum, I will read through them, so if there's anything you want to say, be sure to say it below. And if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell, so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. But with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!